And moving forward, something is rather close to home for us. Uh, we recently experienced one of the worst bouts of haze ever. And uh, sometimes when you went to work, you would see the air quality indoors depreciate just as badly as the air quality outdoors. Now to help monitor the air quality in working spaces, manufacturing, cubicle space, and uh, just about any indoor space that you can think of, Green Air Monitoring System has come up with a device that will also <coughs> sorry, help alert uh, people around you and institutions that require said information to take immediate action. So please welcome Haizan from the Green Air Monitoring System. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Hai Zain, and I'm from Think Plus Consulting, Sunjan Berhart. We are a strategic partner of Green Project Management. Yesterday, I just finished my exam on the Green Project, and I am now a certified Green Project Manager. And they asked me, are you relieved after your exam? I said, no, because I have to do a presentation this morning here in KLCC. So today, I would like to present to you a green air monitoring system. Yesterday, the World Health Organization reported on the 3rd November 2015 that New Delhi is 28 times more worse than the health limit in the air pollution. So how do we know in our current environment the air pollution is at a safety level? And who reports? about your environment to the concerned parties. So that is why I give you green air monitoring system. It's a system that monitor your air environment, in your current work environment, sorry. Such as you're in your office, or you're working in oil and gas, or in a manufacturing company. You go about as your business, but you never know about the air pollution as this is uh, naked to the human eye. So you will be given a badge for the green air monitoring system and it will uh, monitor your environment. If it's at a hazard level, it will report back to the HQ, to the central system or your office HQ and your loved ones. They will not notify the uh, involved parties and make sure you are out from the hazard area. The product is initiated since 2016 by Dr. Mutalib from UTHM. It has won 10 awards, two from international level and two from local. This is how we want to, the product to look like. It's an air test monitoring badge that you can wear. And once it, it's, it is at a hazard level, it will notify the system. And your HQ will be notified on your current situation. The product itself, it can be uh, customized towards your type of industry or your office environment. These are uh, the marketing and distribu uh, distribution channels that we would like to approach to have this product input in their environment, such as the health and safety product distributor, healthcare products distributor, and HSC consultants. To date, the market size is 14,005 companies registered with the Department of Environment of Malaysia. These companies um, is subject to environmental quality. Thus, we would like to approach around 700 companies to be involved in our, uh, to put our product into their environment. Today, there, this year, 25,000 companies is registered with SSM. 
how do we want to go about the business model? The market worldwide, worldwide market worth is four billion. And we would like to sell on the first phase. The product will be sold at 50 US dollars at the industrial uh, level. And for commercial use, it's at 15 US dollars. Green, how do we differentiate a green air monitoring system from other products? Other products, they do have the similar batch of uh, air monitoring system, but then it's not a real-time monitoring. You have to give the batch to the lab and they uh, do a research on your batch and they will tell you after like three days that you're in a worse environment. And only then you know you're supposed to be in a hospital, not at your current time. It is cheaper um, compared to other uh, technologies as other technology are more industrial uh, related. It's a big machine that you have to carry around. But ours, mm, the product, we want to try to make it smaller as a user friendly. At this moment, the product is ready to use, but it requires some product packaging, rollout operation and marketing decision. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you, Haizan. Uh, we are open for questions. Have any questions from the floor? For Haizan. Well, Haizan, perhaps you could explain a little bit on how the air quality is monitored specifically. What do you look for in the air quality? Okay, um, I would like to ask my uh, second presenter, uh, Miss Noor Azima Najiha to present on that matter? Sure. Can we on the slide? Can we have the slides back up? Thank you. Slides for the previous presenter. Okay, hi. Okay, as my uh, partner says just now, that ours is more smaller and as compared to the prototype. If you can see from the slides above your head, it's more bigger than it's supposed to be. It's this big. If you want to bring this big of things around you just to... Um, what? just to filter the air condition around you, it is not possible for us. So that's why we want to make it small and just put it as a batch for you. And it can monitor whether is it polluted or not and is it safe for you. And the difference is, like my partner said, Haizan said that uh, it will be a live one and it will be connected to the Wi-Fi where every information, for example, if I use the batch, for example, and then it's polluted around me. And for example, you are the uh, fire station and it will directly communicate to the fire station through Wi-Fi and stated that I'm in a dangerous situation where the air pollution really, really high and can make me damage my own self at that time. And this is what's the difference between ours and uh, the others' competitors. Thank you. Are there any other questions for the duo? Thank you very much, Haizan, and thank you to your colleague as well for explaining that bit. If there are any other questions, please do address them uh, to the ladies off stage. <laughs> 